two, three, four. The world was so big, and I was so small. Your voice was always the loudest of all. Voicemails, 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 What's the temperature check? Uh, it's it is not, 83 it's not degrees here in Salt Lake King Studios. Uh, no, dude, it's 79. It's, it's great in here right now. Oh, you guys are dressed a little it's thick. It's not in here. Yeah, I think it's great. It's great. It's, it's perfect temperature. Perfect temp. Uh, okay, not let's because... just cut all this and start uh, start recording. Yeah, we we, we were... Uh, we were already recording. Since uh, you did that, let me go ahead and start the show. Welcome to the Adventures of Danny Mike. <laughs> 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 to, miss, to my right, Mr. Michael C. Morona. Here I am. And to his right, Mr. Dana Tamborelli. I guess it's been a while since we podcasted. We yeah. forgot how to do it. And uh, my name is Jeremy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to listen to some voicemails. Gents, what do you think about that? Let's do it. It's been yeah. a while. It's been a little while, it's yeah. It's been a little while. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to listen to the newest ones first Let's now. do it. We're going to do it first course. Yeah, because that way it's, it seems like the context is a little bit clearer oh, for everybody. Fresh. Yeah. Oh, it's fresh. As opposed to being like, hey, you, in October, December. you guys were talking about Halloween. All right. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Does that upset you? No. I guess so. All right. Uh, shall we get right into it? Let's, let's, Michael dive, let's dive right in with two feet. Two hands? How do you get? How do you dive? Hey, guys. Fairly new to listening to the show. Listening to the episode with Jake Pack where you're talking about... I Fairly believe he new? means Jake Pack is what he... <laughs> I think is what he means. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's... <laughs> Come on, guys. If, if you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> I just Pake, call him Jake. So. I call him Jake Pay. I call I mean, him Jake Anime. That's what he's in my phone. Oh, there you go. He's in <laughs> my phone is there Jake Anime. Be careful with that. Sad music, Jake, where you're talking about sad music and sad albums. Who doesn't? I actually have an entire playlist of sad music that I use, just in case times where you need it. Guys, Whoa. you can stop taking your meds, because he has a playlist to help <laughs> you out. That's not, that's not how I think it works. That, is that not how it works? It's just make it worse. That's <laughs> why I was in Elliot Smith for so long. I'm like, <laughs> I just, the dark gets darker. Yeah, that wasn't helping, but you Sorry. could- you could have, I just wanted to jump in and see if I could might help you guys, you know, drug prices are soaring. You could have been listening to the Partridge family that whole time. That's true. That is true. But that yeah, that that would that's like so if fake. The, so if you're going opposite, so happy. then if you guys just listen to the Benny Hill theme on repeat forever, <laughs> you guys will be happy? Not good. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. Uh, One of my go-tos, oh, oh, okay. Cage the Elephant, Shake Me Down. Very, Definitely very hurt. sad song. And if you ever... Wait, you need to feel Cage sad? Cage the Elephant, Shake Cage Me Down. Cage the Elephant, yes. Are you guys too old for Cage the Elephant? Am I the only young I think so, yeah. That yeah. They no, are? no. Wow, no. Play Final Fantasy, Aerith theme from Final Fantasy. I think this is for Michael. I've never played Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 7, that real sad piano piece. I've never played Final Fantasy 7. I don't know if I've ever played any of the Final Fantasies. My name's Bruce. Hey Bruce. Thanks, Great Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, so Thank much. you. What? Finally, somebody who's not from Ohio. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to know what else is on that sad playlist. There's a a Black Crow song that I just recently revisited called "Girl from a Pawn Shop." Ooh. Yeah. Uh huh. It's Ooh. all about you know leaving, not having that lady be a part of your life. I remember it being a big part of my life when I was a single man, but yeah. like, like way back. You would go to pawn shops to meet women? No, no, I wouldn't go to pawn <laughs> shops to meet women. That's... I would go to pawn shops to get cheap guitars from people who- Broke up with you? No, no not people that broke up with me. I'm saying the song The song made me think about, you know, my breakups, past breakups. Right. There's a passion in being alone. Uh. If someone wrote that to you on a card- or in a mixtape when, when they're breaking the up. The passions of being alone. Oh. That's a great mixtape title. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me what, shivers. Well, what would be on that? Uh, mine would be some Elliott Smith, obviously. Sure. And something from the XO album. Smiths, probably. Oh. Just because it's sad and the. Uh, uh, no? You don't like the Smiths? It is sad. It is I can't, sad. I no, can't, you're right. I'm sorry. I can't get behind the Smiths. You don't like Morrissey? I hate him. I, know. I don't know. Pope Bo. It's oh, no, still that good was music. Robert Smith. Yeah. That's it's that's okay. It's the same argument as why people still listen to Michael Jackson. 
Uh, I mean, it's a different argument. It's, but it's, different it's the same argument. idea. Different, same idea. Different argument. Yeah. Uh, I like chicken wings. Sorry. I'll let, and I'll eat them at a Morrissey show. I won't ask Madison Square Garden to not serve hot dogs. I mean, that's awesome Morrissey if you can show. do that, if you have the power to do that. But there was a, you can't uh, expect it to go. There to, was a rap party Jimmy recently. Jimmy Dolan can't even get a winning record for your New York Knicks. <laughs> they just fired Steve Mills. Quick change of gears Nick's, here. We're going to go to the uh, sports Mike talk. No, no, hey, no, no, Jeremy, no. long-time listener, no, first-time caller. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I want to talk about this mill sport. We're talking about sad songs in the Knicks. Yeah. A big sad song for me is every time you yeah. hear that you you know, hear Knicks the, song yeah, you the hear the beginning Knicks of every game yeah. Yeah. or the NBA Still and NBC watch them. theme Still watch everyone. or anything. Anyway, good call. Thanks, Bruce yeah. from New Hampshire. Bruce from New Hampshire, please go to the poll voting booth this fall, yeah. if you would, please, in New Hampshire. Yeah, vote in the primary, kid. All right, next up is Maggie. Okay. Uh, from the great state of Ohio. Fuck. <laughs> Don't say fuck. Embrace it, man. I just can't win. Hey, Embrace guys. it. Maggie hey. calling back from the great state of Ohio. <laughs> hey, calling back. Oh, she's the Mahoning. Um, I wanted to say thanks for all the super sweet stuff you guys said about dating last time. Um, but currently in Ohio, it was 14 degrees. Oh. My car will not go down because it's so damn cold. And I'm listening to the show, and I want to know, why is it always so freaking hot inside Seltzer King Street. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Wow, well, this is beautiful foreshadowing. Thank you. All right, here's the real scoop. Thanks, Maggie. We are going to record an episode inside of your car so that we'll warm up enough. <laughs> to, it will warm up enough to start. Uh, if you don't know, three dudes in a small room podcasting definitely generates a lot of heat. A lot I, of heat. I think Seltzer King Studios is where... I came up with our first billion dollar idea, which was paper towel tank tops. Oh yes, is that? Not I think true? that that no. that may be. I, I, I believe that's accurate. I don't know. Was that the first? Because yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I'll I give mean, it, the books I'll right here. I guess we could I'll look give at. it to him. No, yeah. no, it was, no, no. Paper it was towel owing to tank this place. Fo- tank top was the first billion dollar idea gotcha. from this yes. place. Yes. yes, right. Yes. Yeah. So it's kind of like a people in a place at a time. Yeah. Thanks, Maggie. Thank you for the call. Uh. Yeah, thanks but for calling in. We, she didn't. Yeah, but we didn't give her an answer. Really, the well, answer, the answer is it's hot in here because it's Jeremy's a basement fan apartment. Broke. Jeremy's fan broke. It's yeah. a basement apartment, and all the Quiet, heat pipes you fool, are. In they've the already air. figured out too much. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it is warm in here in the winters. The pipes are like blazing hot. Oh, Maggie, it got better because Jeremy did some pipe wrapping. And so I'm currently being rained with asbestos, <laughs> but at least, at least I not sweating. It's only. And it has gone up two degrees. It has it's yes. gone from just since we were talking about this. Yes, okay. just talking no, the point, about it. The, it's it's the I haven't got the uh, HVAC all hooked up yet. I tried a, a small DIY system and it didn't work. If you're looking for a DIY system HVAC, please contact Jeremy Bailey. or at three four seven four seven zero eight one five zero. Thank if, you for calling. If you uh, know of a good mini split for cheap, three four seven four seven zero eight one five zero. That's a two level air conditioning system. That's what we need for this. Is what I'm saying. Uh, yes. Cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Moving on. Right. This one's a bit long. Hey there, Danny, Mike, and Jeremy. Hello. Uh, Emily from Wilmington, North Carolina. All right. I'm a fairly new listener and uh, even newer Patreon subscriber. I Thank you. Can't oh, wait. man. I'm Thank you so t- much. Big yes. up. Big ups to Emily. Still totally bummed that you had to cancel your show in Virginia back in November, but I really hope to catch you guys sometime in 2020. So We'll get back have- there. Yeah, working on that. We're going to barnstorm the country. I have two questions for you. I've been watching a lot of Disney Plus lately, and I was recently reading that Netflix was in talks of trying to get their own streaming service with maybe a Nick or even Viacom material. So if that were to happen, what would there would there be any particular show and or spin-off show that you would be really excited to binge watch? Emily. Oh, interesting. That's an interesting question because normally that question would be like, will Pete and Pete be on there? And you didn't ask that question, but. Thank you for that. But you, you had, left the gate open to had, us if going there. If you had there, to ask she that question, one after we would this. say no. This is, she has a follow up. Uh, so I'm going to say that if one. I, I, uh, gosh, it hurts because it's kind of like Michael Jackson or the Smiths. Uh, I say Ren and Stimpy. That's really what I oh, wanted nice. to Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, why now. is that? Because you don't like Bob Camp? Is he a bad, bad, bad boy? I can't talk about it. Is that true? It's not Bob Camp. Okay. Somebody else. Yeah. Good oh. question, Emily. Okay. Wow. That got deep real quick. Yeah. We don't want to talk about it. Whoa. I guess it seems like it's a very uh, d- deep thing. I would go for uh, I'd go for more Kablam. I thought Kablam was Ooh. great. Oh. 
inside joke, but it's still valid. <laughs> second question. Second question. I w- I would do what? What was the precursor? You, you to- never even watched Nickelodeon. What's the precursor to uh, um, all that? Roundhouse. Roundhouse. That's a good, I would say good Roundhouse. Call. Just because I don't know a lot about ooh, it. Oh, like Nick re-watch. Arcade. Can I can I change ooh, my answer? Go. Nick oh, Arcade. Oh man, if you say that, Phil Moore is is about ready to do anything. He's a good guy. That. He is deserves a great it. guy. He deserves Phil, that. Philip Morris. You mean? I know, not Philip. No, Morris. not that Just guy. Phil Fuck Moore. that guy. Nick what Arcade, you know? the creator, Jeremy G's. Let Emily speak. Sorry, Emily. Just wanted to know. Didn't know what your favorite shows were growing up. And second one, and please pass this one on to Lori Beth. I've been using Will do. Disney Plus mostly to watch The Simpsons. Sure. What is your all-time oh, favorite oh. Simpsons episode? Don't make me choose, Emily. Thank Ooh. you guys so much. I can't wait to see more of your content, Fuck. especially now that I'm a subscriber. Bye. Fuck. Wow. Emily, what a Emily, great voicemail! Yes, thank, thank you so, so much, much for sending that. Um, and and big goodness. up to our big up to our heels. We haven't heard from oh, many people down there, so thank you. Yeah. NC's I'll finest. let Dan, I'll let Danny go first. Oh, me favorite well, Simpsons episode. Oh, I don't know. I think the uh, I think the Valentine's Day card. I choo choo choose you is the one that's that stands good. out to me pretty, the most. Look, you can good. see because the exact a... second where his heart breaks. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's just that's just me. That's cool. What's that one? What's that episode called? You know, probably off the top of your head. I can't say it. Son of a gun. Um, you were if you listen to the Simpsons podcast, which has now been reinvented as uh, another title, uh, but good. On, wait, they have they have stopped the Sim- Simpsons podcast. And I think Allie Ali and Petition named it something else. Oh, okay. I think they just changed the format. Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, but when I went on the episode that I covered was the Twisted World of Marge Simpson, which was about the Fleet of Pita and the old uh, franchise fair there in Springfield. Oh God, that is such a good. Episode and Whitey too. Ford getting hit with pretzels. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back old school, much like I just did with Roundhouse, which is uh, I remember watching that my mom liked the Tracy Ullman show. The Tracy Ullman show um, was not a Nickelodeon. That's true. Show, but so I, I would know. have to say that. But were the Simpsons? No, those she's talking are, about being on Disney Plus. There's the you. She's just you've, saying what Simpsons episode? Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. There's nothing. And Jeremy's about saying it. the old spiky ones. No, Jer- I was making yes. a joke. I do. Oh, I 100 okay. percent like this. But you know, my probably my actually more of a modern favorite would be the uh, Homer trying to jump the the. The Gorge. The Gorge, yeah. The Gorge. I think that's a really great episode when he falls down the thing. I mean, it's so fucking good. Thanks, so th- Emily. That would be my uh, my go-to. We can't wait to um, live up to your lofty expectations. Yes. Vis-a-vis <laughs> uh, Patreon tier joining. <laughs> Let us know if you're satisfied or not at uh, 347-470-8150. For us Patreon subscribers, there's a different number. It's big money, big money, big money, no whammies. Yeah, that's, what that's I'm a stop. Maybe we do a separate number for Patreon subscribers. Yeah, I think it's three four seven four seven zero eight one five one. No, it's just a like phone that. that rings while we're podcasting, and we can just pick it up and answer questions. I'm just just, just spitballing spit here. here. There you go. Wow. Okay, <laughs> let's cancel that phrase, huh? <laughs> oh God, if they're from Ohio, can we skip? It is. Uh, I, I know. I have good vision. It's from the land. It's from the Cleveland. It's unbelievable. It's uncanny. I'm I'm totally okay with it. We should all. It's not canny. It. It's uncanny. I think we're gonna have to start changing the our iTunes cover art and putting Ohio Native Jeremy on there. Hey, Danny, Mike, and Jeremy, it's Matt from Cleveland, Ohio. Stop it, Matt. What's up, Matt? I was uh, listening to the show, and you guys, as you do, uh, anyone from Ohio to give you a call. So. Oh, see, we've been hey, asking hey. for it. I asked you to not give us a call, Matt. You were not <laughs> listening. To see you guys in uh, Cleveland. You've been everywhere, everywhere in Ohio except for Cleveland. We do, we we have been there. We just stopped for food. We didn't do a show. That's true. I know. That's uh. It's it's gonna happen. We'd it's, like to yeah, announce. Yeah, we, sh- we can do we'd it. Like I'm to sorry. That in 2020, to be honest, to we're gonna honest, get inducted into and play <laughs> the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on the same no, night. To be honest, Cleveland is so good. I like to keep it for myself. I want to tell Jeremy and, and Mike they can go fuck off. I'll go wow. play. I'll play concerts. I play there. Akron. Nobody I'll do. And I'll, what do you I'll say? do some comedy there. I'll play Akron. I'll tell, uh, uh, I'll play. I tell Jeremy and Mike they can go fuck off because wow, Cle- wow. Cle- Cleveland's mine. If Looks the, like we're taking Danny's face. Cleveland's mine. I get Schenectady. You don't get to claim Cleveland if you're not from the state. No, yeah. I know. I don't get to claim it. But yeah. I, yeah. I can say that you I don't want Clifton. you guys to go there. You know what you get? Clifton. <laughs> you, don't get Cle- you don't get yeah, Cleveland. You get fair. Clifton. That's fair. That's you nice. know, in Cleveland, though, there is a Pete and Pete sanitation or dumpster. Oh, thing. yeah, yeah. That's every time people send us those, they're always oh, yeah, from I remember Cleveland. It. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Thanks, Matt. 
Stay Buckeye. He's still got more to stay. Before you went to Cleveland, which is kind of a slap in the face. No. Uh, Toledo, before we went to Cleveland, you're right. You, you're kind of right. But the pizza. Uh, you know what? But, but the pizza cat I thought pizza. We were, I thought we were going to get a good payout that day. Yeah, we <laughs> well, did it. We turned out, it turned out that Toledo on a Friday night does the same Saturday, as- Saturday night. Oh, Toledo on a Saturday night does the same thing as like- a, Mishawaka on a Mishawaka Saturday Mishawaka on a Tuesday. It was a Saturday as well in Mishawaka. You know, it we can't out. we can't be can't great. At, we can't be great at all of them, guys. Can't get lightning in a bottle. But... <laughs> kind of a slap in the face. But uh, yeah, we'd love to see you guys. Love that here. Northern Ohio yeah, fucking backhanded compliment. <laughs> much for the podcast. It is absolutely fun. Thanks, man. Also, I was checking out your Instagram feed and see that you were in my hometown. Oh, I don't have one. Wapakoneta, Ohio. Wapakoneta. That's where um Wapakoneta, did you take a picture and it geotagged you in Wapakoneta? Because it may have. I don't know that place, but I'm happy that we drove through. This you, big Wapakoneta now, energy. Now Matt, you have to drive through my hometown in of Wyckoff, New Jersey next yeah, time you're And in mine town. of Brooklyn, New York. Just oh, wear wow. helmets and cool bulletproof vests. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Like an hour of uh, north of Dayton on seventy five. Th- thank you, Matt. Around uh, Jeremy's area. We're, we're not so, driving there. Uh, that was pretty cool that you guys stopped by for, uh, it was like the Neil Armstrong Museum. You were with a, a jet plane outside. Yes, I made Jeremy oh, take yeah. the picture while <laughs> while Danny was, um, I think Danny was dropping a deuce and I made Jeremy get out and take a picture for Let's just for assume me. that. Yeah, let's just say J- Danny was grabbing two cups of ice. Was I? One cup per hand. You guys know that I'm a very particular pooper and, he, and I can't just go poop anywhere. VPP, so how either, can I explain it? Either. I'll take it frame by frame it <laughs> and have you all jump and shout and say it. V is for very, P is for particular, scratch your tempo. The last P, well, well that's, that's not, not that, that simple. simple. It's sort of like another way to call a turd a shit. <laughs> it's four little letters that I'm missing here. Can you think of it? It seems I better start the explain it. You'll bust it. You'll oh bust my it. God. Oh, museum, so that's pretty awesome. Thanks for the podcast. Hey, I'll catch you guys later. You, if you think Matt about from it, Cleveland. If thank you, you think about it, Ohio is um, disproportionately involved in aeronautics. Uh, then also, you have Emily in uh, North Carolina, where the Wright brothers from Ohio, but couldn't fly there, had to go to North Carolina to fly. Then you got John Glenn and Neil Armstrong, both in Ohio. Man, this is just what a fortuitous mini sode. Uh, there's also 49 other fucking states in America. Roll the tape, Jim. Rolling. Uh, this one's from Florida, I believe. Oh. That's good. Hey, boys, it's Ryan. I just got done listening to episode 99. All I can say is, Jeremy, stop trying to freaking normalize pooping and FaceTiming. What the hell is wrong Thank with you? you. Wow. Thank you, no. Ryan. And with that, all I can say is, ticket links and tour dates. Nostalgiapersonified.com. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very good. That was, kind of, that was kind of the perfect phone call. You know how Trump is always talking about having the perfect phone call, perfect. right? I think I'm pretty perfect, sure that yeah. Ryan just gave us the perfect yes. phone call. Shout out to Ryan. Uh, uh, he yeah. met. He messed with Jeremy, gave some important information. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, it was good. Uh, so, and, and protected the brand. Protected Thanks, the Ryan. Brand. That was pretty perfect, man. Uh, well, yeah, uh, and I agree with him. I do not. There's, no, part- there's no reason to normalize that. What pooping and FaceTiming? Yeah, why? I mean, because because it's gonna have it's gonna get a cute couple's name. Like I just poop timed with my love. You know uh, what I mean? Uh, it's gonna poop get times some, or something. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna get a stupid name like that, like mm-hmm. Brangelina. But don't. Yeah. Yeah. But don't. But I but do. Cleveland Steamer time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we have one more. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Where's okay, where's Mikey. my where's my snare? Mikey. Hear me. You heard that Snow Day movie? Yeah. Yeah, so you guys know about all these reboots going on. We know about Snow Day movie reboot. About rebooting that, that, rebooting that movie. Oh, with us? No, I think he just wants it rebooted. Period. Just anybody, anybody, it's free. Oh, I but mean, we can is produce. Is this the same right? person that calls us wasted, or is this the same? Sorry, sometimes when people call drunk, person. I forget. I think it's a different person that calls us wasted. Oh, huh. across your mind. Which one? Yeah, yeah, you can possibly do that. No, we can't. No. We're you know, not capable. Reboot, reboot that movie with a twist. Like, uh, you know, oh, give us the twist. Like, uh, twist it up. Yeah, twist. what's the twist? Twist it up. Bring, you know, bring in Michelle and, uh, and uh, to- Allison. Toby or Allison, oh. sure. Whatever. 
Okay. Oh, I don't he think is, I don't he is think, looking for a I don't think Pete Michelle retired actually. There's a what? I think he does want it to be a Pete and Pete takeover of, of Snow Day. Day. Interesting. But I don't think Michelle retired. Yeah. I mean, I think he was just saying he would like her to be in the reboot of Snow Day. Well, sure. No, you want to see familiar faces when you see hmm. reboots. That's the thing. Yeah. It's why um, applaud live audiences matter on TV. Hmm. You know what I mean? Because hmm. they have to recognize the person and clap before they deliver their first line. It's an audience Have joke, you not watched the uh, live version of All in the Family? Anything. I haven't actually. <laughs> I'm sure that the reunion, I'm sure people are going to be excited for. Surely. Sure of it. And, uh, Sounds like his dad's in the background. Sounds like he's coaching him through the call. It could be for TV or it could be for <laughs> the big cinema. Nah, so we'll wait, just, we'll we, just getting, stream it. we are getting pitched by someone who's getting pitched. He's a pass a through. He's happening. a pass through pitch. Okay. Your choice. <laughs> Yo, soy. I'm sure people will like it. Yes. Well, listen. Did Thanks. you give us a name? Uh, no, he did not. Thanks to no. you and your friend who pitched this idea. No, I like I like that. But next time, have the friend you know just pitch it. Call us on speaker. There doesn't phone. need to be a. The two uh, of you can pitch. There doesn't need to be a middleman in between the pitch. If you want to pitch us a snow day movie with Pete and Pete people yeah. in it, I mean, you know. Mike's got some free time. Yeah, we have iPhones. I, got some I don't free have time. any free time. I have a kid and a full time job. No, no. Mike will go and do it for that, and he'll yeah. take the kid with him, and and he'll be in a, and we don't even movie. have to go to Cleveland because we don't know where this guy is. No, that I mean, is true. We, can, we we can do it here. I mean, snow next day, time it snows. Snow day has to be somewhere where it snows. Unfortunately, when they shot it in Canada, it was not cold enough, and they had to truck in snow to Canada. That's the funniest <laughs> thing I ever heard. It's not fucking snow day. <laughs> Snow uh, Day 2. Catch Nostalgia Personified, snow. make fun of Snow Day edition where we watch the movie. Yeah, catch us in Boston put, April 2nd at the Hard Rock Cafe. That's right. Or on April Fool's Day in Ardmore, uh, at the Ardmore Music Hall. In Philadelphia. That's right. Suburban Pennsylvania. It's it's Ardmore. It's yeah. actually the town, Jeremy. It's not Bryn Moor. It's not Paoli. It's not Paoli. Or King of Prussia. I was just seeing if he had a big ending. It, thank long you. overdue. Thank Wait, you. What was, it, what was long overdue? The reboot. The end. Oh, of, the end of the voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for calling. Yeah, we. You know what? You can be drunk, high, sober, chatty, Illiterate, lethargic, yeah. sleepy, indecipherable, whatever. Just call, call us at three four seven four seven zero eight one five zero. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening. Check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash Danny and Mike with the N spelled out. Thanks, Emily, for letting us know you subscribe. You became a Patreon. Yeah, if you want to do time. like Emily, yeah. just do it. It's, Thank it's, you, Emily. It's easy. It's yes. easy. Go Very. right to Patreon. Yeah, you don't even have to get God tier right away. Just get mm -hmm. whatever tier. Exactly. Oh, we should do a guy. And if tier. you want to see us live, go to nostalgiapersonified.com. That's all the stuff. Or and NP check out shows if it's that's the easiest way. Right. If people can't spell nostalgia and personified, as N some people NP have told is me. easy littler. Easy littler. Also, check out the last podcast network uh, for all of your podcast needs. Lots of good stuff on there. I am at Remy Balin, at Jeremy Balin on the uh, Instas. Michael C is at Michael C Morona. Danny's at D Tamberelli on the Twits at. I don't know which side they'll to be Danny on. Danny on the Instagram. <laughs> That's right. They are in this frame now because it's fancy. Ba -da -da -da. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope uh, you enjoyed those voicemails. Send us some more. Thank you. Bye. 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 The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Marona. The show is produced by me, Jeremy Baylor. This podcast is part of the Last Podcast Network, which can be found at lastpodcastnetwork.com. Make sure to check that out for a ton of great shows. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also, look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. This show is made possible by listeners like you. Thanks to our ad sponsors. You can support our shows by supporting them. For more shows like the one you just listened to, go to lastpodcastnetwork.com.